Named after Bear Bryant and former Alabama President George Denny, we're in Bryant-Denny Stadium, the site for today's great contest. And it is perfect football weather here for today's matchup between the Alabama Crimson Tide and the Auburn Tigers. Hi, everybody, and welcome to one of the nation's fiercest rivalries. I'm Brad Nessler, and I'm joined by Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso as these two teams battle to see who can bring home the Foy Sportsmanship Trophy. Let's send it down to the field. Here's the Coca-Cola coin toss. Alabama, Alabama will, will be kicking, kicking off, off and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. Kicks off. Number 28 takes it from the six. And he's taken down at the 31-yard line. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. Pitch it to the outside and follow your blockers. First and 10. Ball on the 31 yard line. The Tigers line up in an I formation. They'll throw on first down. Looking. He's looking for his man. That close to being intercepted. That's just a great defensive throw. It won't look like much in the stat book, but that's getting the job done. Well, guys, most of the hype surrounding this game has revolved around this game-breaking tailback. Oh, boy, wait till you see this kid. This kid is a heck of a player, but he's going to go up against a great defense and an even better linebacking core. I think he'll run all over him, Kirk. Let's see how he does. He throws it, and it's caught. And down he goes at the 47-yard line. Nice job by the quarterback to hit the tight end for a decent game. And this guy's not going to burn too many guys deep, but he's definitely a good possession guy who has to rely on Back to pass. He's looking. Here they come. Number 12. Close set up. Looks like the offense has it. They narrowly escape there. It was close, but he recovers a fumble for his team and avoids a turnover. Second and long. Ball on the 42-yard line. Number 23 is the single setback. Drops back to pass. Surveys the field. Throws it to the outside. He gets another, and this is a big one. What a big offensive play. See, not only a big play here, but now you have the defense on their heels a little bit. First and 10. Number 23, the lone back. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. The handback picks up a yard. One yard game. The running game is what wins ball games. So give it Second to the back right here. Ball on the 31 yard line. Auburn comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Again with the run. Missed tackle. Tackle at the 29. Number 23. Gains about two yards on the run. That'll bring up third down. It's third down and eight to go. On the 29 yard line. Auburn lines up with three receivers. Drops back to pass. He throws it. It's complete. And he shoved out of bounds at the six-yard line. With that pass, they pick up another first down. And coach, you can feel the momentum building with each first down in this drive. Yep, this offense is in pretty good rhythm right now. It's first down. Let's see if they can put it in from six yards out. Single set backfield. And they'll run him again. He's taken down at the four-yard line. Number 23 comes away with two yards on the carry. It's second down. Four yards out from the goal line. They're crowding the line. They keep it on the ground. Drop down at the one-yard line. Number 23 gets three yards on the play. We've got third and goal. Ball on the one-yard line. Single set back for you. Setting up the play action. Here they come. It's broken up. So fourth down coming up. And give credit to the defense there. They played very disciplined and were able to break up the pass. Fourth and goal. This one should be makeable. Auburn could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. And here's the Pontiac drive summary.
Auburn, Auburn gets, lined up gets set to kick off. this one away. Number three, back to return. He kicks it off. Number three takes it at the eight. <laughs> Tackle made at the 32-yard line. And now we get to see this offense for the first time as they head out onto the field. They line up at the 32. It's first down. They'll throw on first down. Looks. He throws it. Complete. Tackle at the 46. I'd like to say one thing. The reason they were able to get something on this play is the fact that the quarterback had time to get rid of the football. Good job up front by the offensive line. And don't forget the nice play by the running back as well. It's first and 10. Ball on the 46-yard line. They'll drop him for a loss. So they'll lose some yards on that counter play, guys. Yeah, there was no misdirection on the defense, that's for sure. These guys stayed in their lanes and made a very nice play. Second down, 15 to go. Play action, lets it go. Knocked down, incomplete. Way to keep your head on a swivel, kid. That was a nice job of locating the football and knocking it down to prevent the completion. Sure was, coach. He put himself in great position to make a play. They line up at the 49. It's third down. They line up in the shotgun. Drop back to pass. He's looking. He lets it go. And it's caught. And down he goes at the 35-yard line. Nice play call to get him the conversion. When a team converts on third down, they can really frustrate a defense. When they convert in third and long, it just makes them sick. They'll throw on first down. Looks. Throws it out there. This one will be interference, but who's it going to be called on? Pass interference. On the defense. Well, he got busted for getting to the receiver too first soon. Down. He will get a flag thrown on him every time for a play like that. First, first down, 10. 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20. Alabama comes out with an eye formation. Loss. Tackle for a loss. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. Yeah, and that time the defense got him to go backwards. Drop back to pass. Looking. Throws it. Now who's the penalty going to be called out here? The defender got a little too aggressive on that play. Now you're allowed to check a receiver downfield, but once the ball's in the air, you have to let go. And he hung on too long that time. First, First and ten. Down. Ball on the 18. Ball on the 18 yard line. They come out with a big set. Play action. He throws it. Caught. And a pretty smart call right there. You're absolutely right. The reason why this play worked is that the play action throws the defense just enough to allow the receiver to get open. It's second down. There's only eight yards between the ball and the end zone. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. He's taken down at the three-yard line. And a nice run by the tailback. Not a lot of razzle-dazzle here, but it gets the job done and picks up the first down. First and goal. This is the eighth play of this drive. They put everyone up on the line. They'll go with the run once again. And they make the stop at the one. A couple of yards there by the tailback on the counter. Second down and goal. About a yard to Pater. They're crowding the line. Yes, with the run. And he's level at the one-yard line. They'll give him an inch or two, if no that. That'll make it third down. Third, third and goal, goal for the lead. On the one -yard line. Number 34, the lone back. They hand it off again. Sheds that one. Well, that's how you get it done when you're down by the goal line, coach. When you're close like this, you tell your guys to get in there, push, shove, and block. Just get the ball in the end zone. They'll line up for the extra point. Uh, 
It's up. And he adds the extra point. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. Alabama to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Number 28 takes it at the four. Breaks one. He jukes. And he's taken down at the 35. The offense ready to go again. And their last drive ended with three points. I'd sell the pass here, and then I'd hand it off to my halfback. First, First down, 10 yards to go. All on their own 35. Second and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Again with a carry. Bounces off a would-be tackler. And he's taken down at the 45. Nine-yard pickup. So that'll make it third down. They line up at the 45. It's third down. Auburn goes with the ace set here. Now goes the run once again. That'll be enough to move the chain. You know, you can just look at the offensive line and see the surge. And that running back did a good job of reading the blocks to pick up the first down. Oh, yeah, Kirk. The big uglies are getting it down up front, aren't they? Auburn goes with the ace set here. On the ground with a tailback. He sheds it. He breaks the second tackle. And down he goes at the 41. You know, Coach, what we saw there is just the kind of effort that you need to be a great football player. Oh, that was a very good run, Kirk. I would have bet the house that he wasn't going to get the first down when the first defender got there. But he just kept rumbling and rumbling. And the next thing you know, first down. They'll throw on first down. Looks. He wants the long ball. And it's caught. And he's taken down at the five-yard line. Boy, this kid can throw the deep ball. He laid it in there perfectly. The defense had no chance of getting to that one. Either his man was going to catch it or no one was. They're inside the five. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. When performance matters the most. High formation here. They'll go with a run once again. Touchdown, Auburn! Coach, that was a nice run by the halfback. Yeah, it sure was. First of all, you got a big, powerful offensive line blocking for you. Then you got a back who wants to find the end zone. What's that equal? Touchdown. So the kicker's on the field to attempt the extra point. The kick is up, and he adds the extra point. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Auburn, Auburn gets set to kick this one away. Number three, number three and number 22, time. back ready to return. Kicks it off. Number three takes it at the eight. Tackle at the 25 yard line. Hassan wasn't much of a problem the last time this offense had the ball because they were able to get it in for six. We've got a first and 10. Ball in the 25. Ace backfield. They'll throw on first down. Surveys the field. He lets it go. It's complete. Way to look it in. A good play to the tight end that time. Yeah, and this is a play that we saw in practice the other day over and over again. And as a coach, you like it when all that practice pays off and your players execute in the game like they did all week in practice. Good job. They'll throw on first down. Looks. Fires deep down the right side. It's batted down. Incomplete. Number 22 was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll bring up second down. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 35. Defense lines up with eight men in the box. 
Drop back to pass. Looking. He airs it out. Batted away. Number 22 was the intended target on the play. That'll make it third down. That's a bunch of yards to go for a first down there. I just throw the ball down the field. Eh, maybe you'll get lucky. They come out with four wide out. He drops back. Looking. Heaves a long one down the middle. It falls incomplete. Number four was the intended receiver on the play. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. It's fourth down. Alabama ready to punt this one away. Number 22 will be the return man. Number 12 punts it. And this is a wonderful kick. Number 22 takes it at the 20. The tackle made at the 32. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He's taken down at the 42-yard line. He caught some key blocks and was able to turn it into a 10-yard gain. They line up at the 42. Second down. The Crimson Tide bring in the nickel package. Here's a little draw play. He tackles him for a loss. That was a fantastic play by this defense. You're right. Poor halfback. He had nowhere to go. Third and a couple. Ball on the 40-yard line. Number 12 comes to the line with three wide. Uh, again with the run. And he's tackled at the 45-yard line. And he gets the first down. That guy just went pow and took it in. He wasn't stopping until he got that first and 10. Ace backfield. He drops back. Looks. Aaron and out long. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Yeah, but that defender had a perfect shot at it. He just didn't catch it. They line up in an eye. Nice play fake. Looking. Let's it fly. It's complete. They'll bring him down at the 37-yard line. And that catch gives the big fella 100 yards on the day. These guys do a great job of utilizing the tight end in their passing game, something that most teams don't do in college football. Auburn comes out with an eye formation. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He's looking. And he might want it all here and does. Hold everything, folks. There's a marker down. Let's get the call. Pass the appearance. The hey, Coach, was that a fine pass play or what? Uh, or what is right, this young man is a complete package at quarterback. He knows where his receivers will be, and he gets a quick release to them in a big, big hurry. They'll line up for the extra point here. It's up, and he adds the extra point. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Auburn Number 37 the looks off. ready to kick this Number one off. Three, back deep to return. Here's the kick. Number 22 takes it at the 8. And he's tackled at the 26 yard line. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start a team the team that can run the ball has the best chance of winning. So I try to establish the run here. Number 14 is back in the gun. They'll throw on first down. Looks. And he's got all the time in the world. Aaron and out long. A lot of shoving while the pass was in the air. Let's get the call. That was a good call. The defender was all over. Sometimes 
holding up a defender is better than letting him go for a big game, or even worse, a touchdown. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. The Crimson Tide line up with three wide. He drops back. He's looking. Let's it fly. Caught. Great concentration. What happened there, guys? Well, they were in man-to-man -man coverage on that play, and I couldn't tell if the defender slipped or he just got beat on that play. No, he just got beat. It was a good catch for the first down. Number 34, alone in the backfield. On the ground with a tailback. Brought down at the 36-yard line. The halfback runs for four yards. After a quarter of play, our score is Auburn, 17, Alabama, 7. This pitch play is a good call here. I'd get my guy psyched up the block out there. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 36-yard line. Alabama sets up in the eye. And he stopped behind the line. Boy, how about the speed of this defense, Coach? I tell you, Kirk, it's not easy to run these plays to the outside when you're going against guys as fast as he is. It's like they're in the backfield before the ball is even snapped. Auburn comes out defensively with six defensive backs. He drops back, throws it out there, complete. And they make the stop at the 31. The tight end with a nice catch there. Fourth and two. So the kicker Ball comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Number 86 can make this a one possession game with this kick. He gets it up. Well, they tried for three, but they came up empty handed. Tough defense is key. First Try this. Ball on the 38-yard line. What? On the ground. The they bring him down in the backfield. A great defensive effort there. And let me tell you. The key to that play was right there in the defensive line. They tied this offensive line up and allowed their linebackers to come up and make a big play. Lee, I agree with you. We always talk about the linebackers and safeties, but credit the big guys up front for that play. He drops back, looking. He airs it out. And it's gone. And they bring him down at the 14-yard line. A heck of a play by the receiver. We talk all the time about the emotions of college football. This play was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. The last time they were in the red zone, they got a touchdown out of it. Another run. Tackle made at the 12-yard line. Two-yard pickup. That'll bring up second down. I like running here in this situation. Second it's a safer play. Ball on the 12-yard line. Auburn comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. He looks. He's going right. Complete. And he's taken down at the five-yard line. Number 87. Gained seven yards with a catch there. So that'll make it third down. Third down. They're four yards away. Here we go. The Crimson Tide line up with a nickel back. It's just right. Touchdown, Tiger. And he manages to find the end zone for the second time this half. Yep, he's really finding his way into the end zone. He's off to a great start. They're setting up for the PAT. He gets it up. He splits the uprights with the extra points. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Number three, back to return. And this one's away. Number three takes it at the four. And down he goes at the 23. The kicker missed a field goal on the last drive, so the offense is out here trying to turn it around on this one. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line.
On the ground with the tailback. There's a missed tackle. A nice six-yard gain by the tailback there. As a coach, you got to be concerned with what the defense is throwing at you. I tell my quarterback to take what the defense is giving you. They come out with three wide receivers. They hand it off. And they make the stop at the 31. A yard, maybe two on the carry. I run the ball here. Just pick up the first down, move the sticks, and continue to move the football. Ball on the 31-yard line. He gets another carry. They'll bring him down at the 33. He didn't get much, but he got enough for the first down. Well, that's really all they wanted to do was to pick up the first down and get a fresh set of downs and continue to move the ball downfield. Three wide outs here. Back to pass. Looks. Throws this one out to the left. He's out of bounds. Incomplete. The receiver did all he could do to make that play. The pass was just too far out of bounds. Second and ten. On the 33-yard line. He'll get the call again. And down he goes at the 36-yard line. A pickup of about three. So that'll make it third down. They'll line it up again on third down. On the 36-yard line. Number 14 lines up in the oh. shotgun. He drops back. Looking. Let's it go. It's broken up. How about that play, Coach? Kirk, that's exactly how you teach a player to defend the pass. Do anything possible to disrupt the play. You don't necessarily have to make the interception. Now they'll have a fourth down situation. Fourth down. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Number 12 to punt. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. Number 22 takes it to 20. Let's see if this defense has trouble defending the pass again here. If they do, my friend, look out. They're going to give up another touchdown in a hurry. First and 10. Ball on the 29-yard line. Auburn lines up in a shotgun set. Drops back to pass. Looks. He airs it out. And this one's broken up. You know, the quarterback didn't do anything wrong there. This is just a great play defensively. I think he underestimated the speed of the defensive player. He just shot in and broke it up. Number 23 lines up as a single back. There's the play face. He looks. He's looking for his man. Tipped away. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. Third down, 10 yards to go. Number 23, alone in the backfield. Drops back to pass. Looking. Comes across the middle. Complete. I talked to this receiver earlier in the week. And he comes up to me and says, yo, coach, you're going to be calling my number this week. I'm going to make some big plays. Well, he wasn't lying. That was definitely a big-time play. Auburn comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. On the ground with the tailback. And they hit him in the backfield. They sure shut down the halfback on that play. Boy, they were in the backfield in a hurry. The back just had no space to run the football. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 47. He gets another carry, and he tackles him hard at the 48-yard line. Number 23 comes away with five yards on the carry. Third down, six to go. Ball on the 48. Auburn comes out in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Surveys the field. Chucks it deep down the right side. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. That's a fantastic defensive effort. Yeah, the deflection prevented them from getting any yards. Now, it's fourth down. Number, 
Number three is back awaiting the punt. They get this one off and it's a beauty. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. First, First ten. down, 10 yards Ball to go. On the 20-yard line. The Crimson Tide go with the I formation. <laughs> Setting up the play action. He wants it all going long. He goes up and gets it. The wideout comes up with a spectacular play. Yeah, and if I'm the coach, I put a big circle around that play so I can remember to call that one again. Good call. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and 10. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Surveys the field. He lets it go. This one is batted away. And he threw the ball into coverage. Man, I tell you, he's lucky that defense didn't come away with that one. From the 46-yard line, it's second down. They come out with three wide receivers. A little handoff. Breaks one. And they make the stop at the 40. Number 34 gets six yards on the carry. I'm full of good plays. Try this one. Third and four. Ball on the 40-yard line. Number 34 is the single uh, setback. Uh, on the ground with the tailback. And he's taken down at the 34. Close, close call. But it's good for the first down. That defender down there is upset. He knows that if he would have gotten to the play a second sooner, he would have been able to make the stop. But a great call and a good run there on third down. They'll throw on first down. He's looking. Here comes the pressure. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 44-yard line. The Crimson Tide audible to something else. Number three. Motioning to the left. The Crimson Tide call for a timeout. And that was their first timeout. When you got a mile to go, you got to throw it deep. Long. Ball on the 44-yard line. But he drops back. Surveys the field. He wants it all going long. Knocked down. Incomplete. That's just good defense right there, Coach. It was hurt, but you know what? It's all reaction. Anytime you're out there on defense and the pass is within arm's length away, they knock it down. The offense faces another third down here as they line up. Number 14 lines up in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Looking. He's going to air it long. And that one's incomplete. He wasn't letting the receiver get to that one. That's a big play on third down to get a hand in there and break up the pass. I think the quarterback would like to have that one back. Fourth and Fourth long. down. The punter well, comes on the field, getting ready to send one off. Number 12 is the punter. Number 12 punts it away, and this one's got some distance. Well, before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 20. Number 23 is the single setback. They'll throw on first down. Looks. Looking deep to the right. It's batted down, incomplete. Coach, you made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. Second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. The Tigers come out showing three wide. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. Gain of nine. That'll bring up third down. Third down, a yard to go. Ball on their own 29. Single set backfield. Third and short, and they'll throw for it. Looks. He passes it. He somehow comes up with it. He goes down at the 46-yard line. 
The tight end picks up a lot of yardage on that one. The big guy isn't the fastest out there, but he sure is a load to bring down. We've got a first and ten. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. And that was a good stop by the defense. They got him in the backfield. That's a great example of quickness by the defensive line. It allows you to break away from those blockers before they have a chance of moving you away from the play. Drop back to pass. Looking under pressure. And he's sacked. That's what happens when the protection breaks down up front. Yeah, but coach, I think the quarterback has to release the ball quicker or he's going to get pounded out there. Back to pass. He's looking. Throws it. Oh, boy. Almost intercepted. Number 87 was the intended target. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. Fourth, and Fourth down. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Number three, back to return it. Number, three, Number 30, hunts it. And this one is a skyrocket. Number three, fields it at the 18. Sheds that one. And he got a few yards. He got more than a few. That was a good return. Yep, he almost broke one there. From their own 31-yard line. It's first down. They'll throw on first down. He's going right. And they bring him down at the 40. How about that play? I like this call. Anytime you can present the threat of possibly breaking one wide open, you loosen up the defense a little. It'll be interesting to see how the defense adjusts here. Here's the give. Tackle made at the 35. Number 34 picks up five with the carry. From the 35-yard line. Second down. Drops back to pass. Looks. He throws right. There's a flag down on the field, and I'm betting that this one is pass interference. Pass interference on the defense. He got to the receiver a bit too soon there. You won't First get down. much of an argument from me. That was a good call. First We've got ten. a first and ten. Ball. Number 14 with three wide receivers. He's under some heat. He's wrapped up for the sack. The offense in a hole here after the sack. Second and long. The defense calls an audible. Ball on the 26-yard line. Back to pass. He's looking. Going long. It's knocked away incomplete. Number 34 was the intended receiver on that pass. So that'll make it third down. We've got third and long here. Ball on the 26. Drop back to pass. Deep ball. Laying it out there. He's all the way home. Touchdown. They made a great connection there for the touchdown, didn't they, fellas? Boy, the quarterback threw a strike to the wide receiver. He caught it. Took it all away. Oh, what a dangerous combination. You can't say enough about how good that throw was. The quarterback put that one right on the money. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. Alabama, Alabama ready to kick this one off. Number 28 and number 22 deep to return. Here's the kick. Number 28 takes it at the four. A little juke. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. This is all about the battle up front. Just pound First the football. Ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. The Tigers come out in the ace formation. Lost the ball. Come on. Number 76 with a recovery. The offense will keep possession after the fumble by the running back. It's a good thing they can't afford a turnover right now. Second down, three yards to go. Single set back for you. Drop back to pass. Looking. Going deep. Lays it out there. Complete. And he's tackled at the 24. This kid just continues to impress us with his ability to catch the football. He's already gone over 100 yards here in the first half. This is defense. Who wants to cover this guy? I bet you nobody's going to raise their hand because this receiver is embarrassing them. It looks like the defense is protecting against the fake here as they keep their special teams unit on the sideline. It's up, and the field goal is good. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. We've still got a half of football remaining, but our score at halftime is Auburn 27, Alabama 14.
Auburn, Auburn is, lined is lining up to get this second half Number started. Three, back to return. Decent kick. Number three takes it at the eight. And down he goes at the 26-yard line. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. With enough protection, you never know how long these passes will go for. Ten. Ball on the 26-yard line. Back to pass. He looks. He heaves it deep. And it's caught inside the 30. To the 20. To the 10. He's going to take it to the barn. Touchdown. Terrific pass, and the wideout hauls it in for the touchdown. Brad, the wide receiver's route was the key on that play. You're right, Kirk. His route running really has improved, and the quarterback has been throwing his weight a lot more. He gets it up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Alabama to kick this one off. Number 28 and number 22 set to return. Kicks off. Number 28 takes from the 10. And he's taken down at the 28. The defense was able to keep him out of the end zone on their last possession, but the offense did pick up three. First down, 10 yards to go. The Tigers line up with two tight ends. They'll throw on first down. Looking. He passes it. And it falls incomplete. Number 86 was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll bring up second down. They line up at the 28. It's second down. Auburn comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. On the ground with the tailback. And down he goes at the 34. Number 23 gets six yards on the play. That'll make it third down. Third down, four yards to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. They go with the run. And he's taken down at the 48-yard line. How about that conversion on third down? Good push here by the guys up front, and they are really starting to work hard in the trenches. Let me tell you something. The biggest compliment you can give a coach is that his team is playing hard. And you're right. These guys are playing real hard right now. They'll go with a run once again. He's tackled at the 46-yard line. Number 23 gets six yards on the carry. Second it's second and four. four. Ball on the 46-yard line. High formation here. Here's the give. Brought down at the 44-yard line. Number 23 gains about two yards on the run. So that'll make it third down. Third and a couple. Ball on the 44-yard line. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. Play action. Looking. He throws right. Caught to the 10. And he will score. The wideout makes a big catch there. Hey, whenever you have a receiver who can make plays like that, you just want to get the ball in his hands and let him do the work. Listen up, my friend. That was a tremendous throw by the quarterback, too. Don't forget about the guy slinging the ball all over the field out there. So the kicker lines up for the PAT. It's up. He makes the PAT. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary.
Auburn, Auburn is, lined is up lining up to kick this one off. Number three. Number three. And return. number 22. Back deep to return. He kicks off. Number three. Takes from the 10. And he's tackled at the 26. Well, the offense is back on the field again. In their last drive, they moved the ball very well, especially through the air on their way to that touchdown. From their own 26-yard line. First down. Gets the ball. No, they fake. Surveys the field. He throws it. Caught. Gets past the tackle. Oh, what a play. <laughs> you talk about robo quarterback. That last pass looked like robo quarterback type throw all the way. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Number 14 with three wide receivers. They'll throw on first down. Looks. He wants it all. Hauled in the long pass for the touchdown. This receiver is big time, big play. If this were baseball, he bad cleanup because he's the biggest home run threat they got. They'll line up for the extra point. It's up. He makes the PAT. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. Alabama, ready to kick this one off. Number 28, back deep to return. Kicks it away. Number 28 takes it at the 8. With the spin. Bounces off the would-be tackler. Look at the strength. At the 40, across midfield. At the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. And they're going to bring this one all the way back. Touchdown. And they give up the touchdown. <laughs> I'd hate to be going to the sideline and have to face my teammates and the coach after giving up a touchdown like that. They line up for the point after. Kick is up, and he tacks on the extra point. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. Number 37, kick ready off. to kick. Number three, back to return. He sends it downfield. Number three, fields it at the 11. <laughs> and he's tackled the 33 yard line. Now we see the offense come out of the field. And you know who's trembling right now? That defensive secondary. Secondary should be trembling after all the yards that they gave up that last time. Number 34, alone in the backfield. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. At the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown! And they gain back a chunk of the deficit with this halfback second rushing touchdown of the game. That's a nice run, but these guys still have a lot of work to do. Yeah, the defense has to come out and make a stop on the next drive so this offense can get to work again. They aren't out of this game yet. The kick is up. He makes the PAT. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. Alabama 
side. It looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Number 28, back to return. Decent kick. Number 28 takes it from the six. Jets that one. Brought down at the 29. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. Tell your quarterback to stand in there and make a play. First and 10. Ball on the 29 yard line. Auburn goes with the ace set here. Inside handoff. Tackle at the 35. The running back gives them six on the ground. In this situation, you got to trust the quarterback's decision making. Ball on the 35 yard line. The defense sets up with five defensive linemen. On the ground with a tailback. Tackle made at the 38. What do you think of this back so far today, Kirk? He's looked pretty good to me, Coach. He's been effective between the tackles, and he's shown his speed on some outside runs. And he's been a huge part of this offensive game plan all day. Don't forget about that. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. And that won't be enough for the first down. Great job here by the defense in shutting down the run. That's a real boost for this team. Fourth down. Auburn ready to put this one away. Number 30 awaits the snap. Number 30 hunts it. And this one is a skyrocket. Number 3 takes it at the 20. He's taken down at the 26-yard line. Well, oh, guys, they got a touchdown on their last drive. And you know, Brad, they stuck to the running game, and it proved to be very effective on that last drive. If they keep running the football like they have been, then we may see another six points on the board real soon. The Crimson Tide come out in a bunch formation. He's under pressure, and they got him. There's not too much the quarterback can do there. Right, the protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. It's second down now, 14 to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. Alabama comes out with an eye formation. They go with a run. And they make the stop at the 30. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. They line up at the 30. It's Ball third down. On the 30 yard line. Huh. Drops back to pass. He's looking. Throws it deep downfield. Got it. To the 10. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. They hooked up for the long touchdown there, guys. What a great call. The quarterback knew he had the matchup that he wanted, and he took advantage of it. And how about that receiver? He made a great catch. Here's the extra point that can give them the lead. The kick is up. He makes the PAT. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Number 28 is deep to receive, and look out, folks. He's looking to run another one back for six. Kicks it off. Number 22 takes it at the four. And down he goes at the 24. The offense gets ready to start a new drive as they just couldn't get anything going on their last possession. Going three and out. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 24. Number 12 comes to the line with three wide. 
They'll throw on first down. Looking, he throws left. And he finally steps out at the 49. Heck of a catch by the wideout to pick up a nice chunk of yardage. This kid is a very special football player. He can make the catch over the middle in traffic, or he can take it the distance using his speed. He can do it all. He drops back. Surveys the field. He's drilled as he throws. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. Yeah, that did not look pretty. Second it's second and down ten. and 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Number 12 is back in the gun. Hey. 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 Back to pass. He's looking. Throws. It's broken up. Number three was the intended target on the play. That'll bring up third down. Tell your kids that this is where they earn their stripes. They line up at the 49. It's third down. The Crimson Tide bring in the nickel package. Drop back to pass. Looks. Throws it. And this one's broken up. Number 23 was the intended target. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. It's fourth down. They come out in a punt formation. Number three, the return man. Number 30 punts it, and this is a wonderful kick. And they'll down it at the three. Great punt there to pin them deep inside their own territory. Man, they got a nice bounce there as well. Yeah, a lot of times those punts will hop right into the end zone, but this time it didn't go anywhere. They keep it on the ground with a tailback, and down he goes at the five-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. It's second down. They'll line up just in front of their own end zone. The Crimson Tide line up in an eye formation. And straight ahead we go with a fullback. They'll get six yards. That'll bring up third down. Yo, how about this one? Third and two. Ball on the 11. Ball on the 11-yard line. Number 34 is the single setback. On the ground with the tailback. Brought down at the 16-yard line. And the run is good for the first. Yep, this is nothing new if you follow this team. They like to run the ball in these kind of situations. Terrific third down play call there. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 16. Number 34, the lone back. Toss. He's tackled at the 19-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. I'm full of good plays. Try this one. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Not much for the runner as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. So that'll make it third down. Third the offense seven. faces another third Ball down as they line it up. Line. The Crimson Tide set up in the gun. Hunt. Back to pass. Looking, throws it. It's knocked away incomplete. Number 84 was the intended receiver on that pass. So the defense stands their ground and they're going to have to punt this ball away. So it's fourth down. The Crimson Tide line up the punt. Number 12 is waiting for the snap. And this one is a beauty. Number 22 fields it to 35, and he's taken down at the 41. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. 
First, first and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. Number 23 is a deep back as they line up in the eye. Nice play fake. Over the middle. Caught. And they tackle him at the 34-yard line. Perfect time for the play-action pass. Well, here the defense is looking for the run, and the play-action put him in even a worse position. They just weren't ready for the pass there. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. Number 23 lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. There's the play fake. Looks. Let's it go. Swatted away. Number 15 was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll make it second down. As a coach, you got to be concerned with what the defense is throwing at you. I tell my quarterback to take what the defense is giving you. Ball on the 34 yard line. Number 12 lines up in the shotgun. On the ground with a tailback. Tackle made at the 32-yard line. And they pick up two yards. In this situation, you got to throw the ball to your best receiver. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. Number 12 with three wide receivers. Back to pass. Surveys the field, dumps it, and it's knocked away. How about that play, Coach? Kirk, that's exactly how you teach a player to defend the pass. Do anything possible to disrupt the play. You don't necessarily have to make the interception to make a big play on defense. That's very true. Now they'll have a fourth down situation. So it's fourth down, and the kicker's on to try this 49-yarder. Number 37 can give his team the lead. The kick is up. Well, fellas, he can't come through with three points. Like corners who get beat on deep routes and quarterbacks. Oh, pick. Kickers also have to have a short memory. Yeah, I think this guy will be ready to go on his next kick. They go with the run. He's hit and got away. At the 30, to the 20, to the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. This kid has been a very integral part of this team's success today, fellas. Absolutely. He's run the ball extremely well between the tackles. That's his third touchdown of the day. A successful offense needs a successful running attack. And that's exactly what this kid brings to the table. He makes the PAT. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Alabama Everyone's lined all lined up, up and ready for the kickoff. 28, back to return. Kicks it off. Number 28 takes it at the 8. Tackle made at the 35. A missed field goal was the result of the last drive. We'll have to see if they can come through with something this possession. I'd run it down their throats here. Nothing First too special. Ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. Number 23 lines up at the single back. On the ground with the tailback. And they make the stop at the 35-yard line. No gain. That'll bring up second down. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. From the gun. Let's it fly. And that one's fallen incomplete. Number 15 was the intended receiver on the play. So that'll make it third down. It's third and 10. Ball on their own 35. Number 23 is the single setback. Back to pass. Looks. Chucks it deep down the right side. Got it to the senior. To the 20, to the 10, touchdown! The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game.
it makes sense to go for two here. They need to tie it up here, and that's exactly why they're going for two. They're crowding the line. Play action, rolls right. Go into the end zone, and they get the two. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. Auburn to kick. kick number three and number, three, number 22 deep to return. to return he sends it off number three fields it at the three and he's tackled at the 20 yard line they ran the ball very well on their last drive and it resulted in six I think they'll continue to pound it out Brad this offensive line is doing a great job of blocking and the running backs are finding all the holes. If it's not broken, don't fix it. I agree. I think they're going to keep pounding it in there until this defense can stop it. On the ground with the tailback. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. The halfback runs for four yards. Second down and six. Ball on their own 24. Surveys the field. He up this one off. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Number 83 was the intended target, so that'll make it third down. And that's the end of the third quarter. And we'll head into the final quarter of play with a score all knotted up. Yo, how about this one? Third down and six yards to go. Ball on the 24. He drops back. He's under some heat. And he can't get away from the pressure after the sack. Fourth and long. Alabama will call a timeout. And they've got two remaining. Number 22, back deep to return. Number 12, punts it, and he kicked this one pretty well. Number 22, fields it for 39, brought down at the 49-yard line. Well, I'll tell you guys, a passing game was sure on target during their last drive. And the quarterback had great protection by his offensive line. When he gets time, he can pick you apart. They line up at the 49. First down. Nice play fake. He throws it. And it's intercepted. That interception might be the difference in this game. I think it could be, Brad. The game's tied, and now they got the ball. One score is all they need. I'm out, and they'll have two remaining. First, First and ten. ten. Ball on their own 25. Five-yard line. They line up in an eye. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's taken down at the 26. Pickup of less than a yard on the play. That'll make it second down. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 26. 26 yard line. Number 14 with three wide receivers. Back to pass. Looks. Let's it fly. And this one's broken up. Good job there by the defense to get a hand on it. It was, Kurt, but when you're going out for a pass and the ball is in the air, you need to go after it and come down with it. You just can't watch the defender bat it down. They come out in a nickel. He drops back. Looks. He wants the long ball. Can't hang on. Incomplete. Fourth down. The Crimson Tide are lining up to punt it away. Number 22 will be the return man. Booming kick. 
Number 22. Tackle at the 36 yard line. So the offense will come out and try to turn things around after an interception on their last drive. The quarterback has to get that interception out of his head. You can't be scared to keep Ball firing away in this game or the defense will tear you apart. Number 23, alone in the backfield. Here's the give. He's taken down at the 38-yard line. So the halfback gets only two on the draw play. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. The Tigers come out in the ace formation. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. A pickup of about three. I chuck the, the ball up here in this situation. Five. Ball on the 41 yard line. Auburn sets up in the eye. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Surveys the field. He chucks it downfield. Almost intercepted. Now that's the way to get in there and break up the pass. And more importantly, coach, brings up a fourth down situation. Fourth down. Auburn ready to punt this one away. Number three is the deep man awaiting the return. He really got a hold of that one. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. Yeah, maybe, Scooter, you need First to get out there and show them what you're made of. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. Two tight ends here. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And down he goes at the 27-yard line. Number 34 gets seven yards on the play. It's second and three. Ball on the 27 yard line. <laughs> he drops back. Looks. He tosses it short. That's incomplete. Underthrown in the vicinity of his tight end. He's a big guy who can rumble after the catch. You got to hit him squarely. We've got third and three here. Ball on the 27. 27 yard line. The Crimson Tide line up with three wide. And they'll try to get the first through the air. He's looking. This one's thrown deep over the middle. And it's knocked down. He just beat the ball to the receiver's hands on that play. Nice deflection. Yep, and now it's fourth down. Fourth down. The Crimson Tide are lining up to punt it away. Number 12 to punt. He gets it off. Number 22 takes off the 32. Tackle more at the 40. So he got a little on that return. But Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. Kirk, you never listen to me. I've been telling you about that awesome team speed all day long. Aren't you going to listen to me? The Tigers set up in the gun. To pass. Looking. He throws right. Catches it. And he's brought down at the 32 yard line. The tight end came up with a nice catch that time. Yeah, nice catch. And he shows off a few moves there. Yeah, the big fella's pretty athletic for a tight end. And as a quarterback, it's always nice to have a big target like this to go to. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Missed tackle. And they make the stop at the 29-yard line. Three-yard gain by the halfback on the counter play. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He breaks it. Deep ball laying it out there. This is definitely going to be pass interference. However, I'm not sure who they're going to call it out. They'll be called for an infraction. That will put them back a few paces. Man, the coaches are going to have to talk to these young guys about committing unnecessary fouls. Second, Second and down and a ways to go because of the penalty.
The Tigers line up with four wideouts. He drops back. Looks. He goes downtown. It's broken up. Number three was the intended receiver on that pass. So that'll make it third down. It's third down and a long way to go. Auburn lines up in a shotgun set. Drops back to pass. Looking. Throws down the middle. Swatted away. Everyone had a shot at catching that pass. Especially the guys on defense. There was no one open, and he threw it in there anyway. Fourth down. Auburn ready to put this one away. Number three, back to returning. Number three. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Well, the offense couldn't get anything going on their last drive. Let's see if they can do a little bit better here. First and ten. Ball on their own 20. Two tight ends set. Back to pass. Looks. He unloads it. Caught. And he's tackled the 37-yard line. Nice catch by the receiver. That reception put him over the century mark for the day. And you want to know something, Kirk? What's that? This receiver is the real deal. He's a great playmaker. Alabama goes with the ace set here. They'll throw on first down. He looks, throws this one out to the right, catches it. Down the sideline, inside the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Hold everything, folks. There's a marker down. Let's get the call. So they'll move back after that costly penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. The key here is making sure the offensive line gives the quarterback plenty of time to find the open receiver. Going with the shotgun here. They'll throw on first down. Looks. Pocket holds. He delivers. This one is batted away. That's just a great defensive play. It won't look like much in the set, but that's getting the job done. Second it's second and 11. And 11. Ball on their own 36. Number 34 lines up in the deep back. High formation. There's the play fake. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Third and long now after the sack. There's a shift by the linebacker. Number 14 sends a guy in motion to the left. Drops back to pass. Surveys the field. He throws it. This one will fall incomplete. How about that play, coach? Kirk, that's exactly how you teach a player to defend the pass. Do anything possible to disrupt the play. You to make a big play on defense. That's very true. Now they'll have a fourth down situation. Number 12 is the putter. Number 12 punts it, and he kicked this one pretty well. Number 22 fields it for 30. Brought down at the 33, and he didn't get anything on that return. Well, the coverage team did an outstanding job at containing here. You always see this with this team. They're very disciplined on special teams. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 33. Alabama lines up with five defensive backs. Back to pass. Looking. Once at all. And this one falls incomplete. Number 86 was the intended target, so that'll make it second down. Second and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. Alabama brings in the nickel here. They keep it on the ground. Number 42 gets it off the turf. 
Number 99 picks up the fumble. Great play by the defender to pick up that ball for the recovery. It was a clutch play as a quarter. All tied up. Does it get any better than this, Kurt? Nope, it really doesn't. These fans are getting their money's worth today, that's for sure. Taken down at the 17. Three yards there on the play. When you're inside your opponent's 20, you can play it safe or you can go for it all. The pressure I let my quarterback throw for a zone. touchdown here. And that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. In the red zone again. Let's see if it'll be another <laughs> touchdown. They hand it off. And they make the stop at the 14-yard line. That'll be a gain of three yards. That'll make it third down. Third and four. Ball on the 14. Another run. There's a missed tackle. They'll bring him down at the 10. So they convert. That'll be a first down. The defense had a chance here to bring the ball carrier down in the backfield, but he just slipped out of it and picked up the first down. Boy, that kid is slippery. He's tough to bring down. The Crimson Tide line up with two tight ends. Setting up the play action. Got hit as he threw. They got to him as he was throwing that time. He's lucky that one wasn't intercepted. Either that or sacked. I don't know how he got rid of the ball. Second down. They'll line up on the 10. The Crimson Tide line up in an eye formation. On the ground with the tailback. He's tackled at the three-yard line. They keep it on the ground, and the halfback gets about seven yards. Third down, and they're only six feet away from six points. They're crowding the line. He'll get the goal again. Brought down at the one. A two-yard run by the halfback. Fourth down. He shouldn't have a problem with this one. Number 86. It's up. And it's good. And so they take the lead with that field goal. Big time kick late in the game. That was a clutch kick to put them up on top. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Kicks it off. Number 28 takes it from the six. Tackle made at the 25-yard line. Guys, what do you think about this situation? It's only a three-point game, so they can tie it with a field goal or take the lead with a touchdown. They have time on the clock, so I wouldn't rush things here. The important thing is to move the ball down the field and put points on the board. Auburn comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. He drops back. He's in trouble. They bring the quarterback down. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Alabama lines up with five defensive backs. Back to pass. Looking. Throws it. Incomplete. Almost picked off. Yo, guys, that was a very dangerous pass. This quarterback better be careful. He has a tendency to force some passes, and he really forced out. Here's a third and long situation. Auburn comes out in the shotgun. He drops back. Surveys the field. Fires deep down the right side. They knock it down, incomplete. So fourth down coming up. And give credit to the defense there. They played very disciplined and were able to break up the pass. It's fourth down. And they're ready to punt this one away. Number three is back deep to return the punt. He really got a hold of that one. Number three, fields it at the 40. Broke away from one. 
A scoring drive the last time out for this offense, and they'll huddle up for this drive. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 48. Number 38, the lone back. On the ground with the tailback. Tackle made at the 48. They got four yards on that one, so that'll make it second down. Second down and six. Ball on the 48. The Crimson Tide line up in an eye formation. And they make the stop at the 46-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. We've got third and three here. Ball on the 46. 46-yard line. Number 34 lines up as a single back. They'll work the right side. He's hit and got away. They don't pick up the first on that play. Brad, that defense is saying, not so fast, my friend. You're not going to run that ball that easy. Fourth down. The Crimson Tide line up to punt. Number 12 is waiting for the snap. Number 12 punts it away, and this is just a beauty. Great kick. Yo, the defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. Yeah, the offense wasn't clicking on their last possession. We'll see if they have things figured out on this next drive. Drop back to pass. Looks. Throws it. Caught. He's hit and taken down. And guys, if yards were years, you'd have a half millennium out there today. Well, 500 yards is something you can only dream about as a kid, but to do it in a college football game? Wow. They'll throw on first down. This one's thrown deep over the middle. Knocked down, incomplete. That ball should have been picked off. This quarterback had too much faith in his arm that time. Well, that confidence almost led to a change of possession. His man wasn't even close to being open. He drops back. He looks. He's looking deep down the left side. And it's caught! And they tackle him at the 24-yard line. That'll get some good yardage for the receiver. This kid is one heck of a wideout. He's the guy you got to get the balls to as much as you can because he can do things that make you say, whoa. Looking, throws it out there, incomplete. Number 15 was the intended target on the play. So that'll make it second down. As a player, you got to get out of bounds or get the first down in order to stop the clock. You know in college football, the clock is stopped when the chains are moved on first down conversion. back and pass. Looks, lets it go. The linebacker picks it off. He just got thrilled. No, they didn't. And now it puts them in a situation where they have to get a stop. And as a quarterback, you can't give up an interception late in the game. Careful with the football. The Tigers call for a timeout. And now they got no timeouts left. We've got a first and 10. On the ground, left side. Sheds that one. And he's taken down at the 26. They get five yards on the play. It's second down and five to go. Ball on their own 26. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. And they pick up two yards. That'll bring up third down. Third and two. Ball on their own 28. Ball on the 28-yard line. and eat up more of that clock. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 32. So the battle between these two rivals comes to a close. Guys, your final thoughts. They've talked about the rivalry all week long and for good reason. We saw the intensity down the field every play and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over the next time they play. Folks, that's going to do it for this edition of NCAA Football 2007. Again, our final score, the Alabama Crimson Tide, 52, and the Auburn Tigers, 49.
For Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler with our final goodbye. We'll catch you next time. Thank you for attending the baseball game. Please drive home safely.